Welcome back, and we're hooked up now live to Trail British Columbia, where the smoke eater's legend lives on. Lisa Bose is there, and after all these years, Lisa, how did those Smokies get their name originally? Well, actually, John, it really depends on who you talk to. The general consensus is that in the early 30s, Due to the smelting company, Cominco, it was very smoky in those days throughout Trail, and some people think that's how they got their name. But the more colorful version is that during a playoff game in Calgary, somebody threw a cigar or a cigarette onto the ice. One of the players was skating by. He picked it up, started to smoke it, and they think that that's my, maybe how they got the name. So I don't know if that's true. I've got a few of the players from the team with me here at Rosario's in Trail, B.C., and so maybe I'll just ask Seth Martin. Seth, which story do you believe? Well, I'd like to uh, think it would be the last one, a bit, certainly more colorful, somebody uh, in, a, in a uniform picking up a cigar or whatever, smoking it. So that's, that's the one I'm going to stick with. It is a great name, a great Canadian name. And how about this game, Canada, Finland, deadlocked at zero so far? Well, it's, it's certainly a close checking game. It doesn't look like uh, any of the teams want to make a mistake out there causing a goal. So it's, uh, I expected uh, that the, uh, the Canadian offense would take over in the second period, but uh, they're, I guess they're... Now going into the third, it's another problem. They, they, they can't open up too much, and uh, I think it's going to stay in the same way during the whole game. So I hope Canada comes through in the end. Dave Russell, what do you think of the game? What are your thoughts as you watch this? Well, I thought the first period there was, wasn't very many really good chances. Uh, they're checking very closely, and uh, I think that first goal in the third period is going to be a really a big one. It will be very hard to, to overcome because of the style of hockey that they're playing. Okay, and as the game progresses, maybe we can come over to you, Cal. What do you think about, uh, sorry about that, we need my mic of course, uh, what do you think about uh, what might happen at the end of the game? Uh, will there be a celebration in trail? It's very quiet here, it's Mother's Day. Uh, the outcome of the game, what do you think might happen? I think there might be a little bit, uh, almost a short period of mourning for a little while amongst a lot of the old hockey fans who have talked about this for the past 33 years. But in reality, I guess it's time that Canada won again. You know, it's hard to believe that, yeah, uh, that. they've gone that long without winning the World Tournament. Hugh McIntyre, Pinoke, I guess, your nickname uh, as you watch this game and the possibility of the honor perhaps in jeopardy. What are your, th your thoughts? Well, I, I, I would like to see Canada win for sure, but uh, it, it's going to sort of uh, be uh, something to lose that prestige that we've had for the 33 years. But I feel that I don't, I, I personally feel that we won't lose it because we were the last amateur club to uh, win this, and I think that's. There's quite a few pros on there, and uh, as far as the game is concerned, it's really a close check-in, and uh, somebody's got to open up in the third. That's a very good point. This is the last Canadian amateur team to win the World Hockey Championships. They have a book, actually, The Last Time We Won Hockey, 1961. I intend to read a few chapters before I leave trail. Back to you, John. Uh, Lisa, I'm sure you'll have to, and Seth Martin looks like he can still play for a Team Canada there. Of course, a goaltender with that great trail smoke eaters team. And he'll be happy that Billy Ranford has the shutout going for Canada so far. No scoring in Milan so far at the 1994 World Hockey Championship 0-0 as we head to the third.